can give our input on who we think is the best teams. Now, I looked at this week's uh, um, slate of games in, uh, in week seven, and wow, it was a crazy week of um, college football, to say the least, because you had teams that got upset. Many teams got upset. I'm not going to say the name. Everybody by now know all the teams that um, got upset. Big teams. Wow. Well, I, I will say one of the teams that um, shocked me was Alabama losing to Vanderbilt. That, that was a shocker. And then um, another shocker was a lightweight shocker was USC losing to Minnesota. So, and kind of um, not all the way as shocking as Tennessee losing um, to Arkansas, but, you know, everybody thought Tennessee would win that game. So, this week was a crazy week of um, college football. It's exciting. That's what makes college football so exciting is the fact that you have all these um, different games that – everybody thought was chalk, but it ended up being um, down to the wire games or outright upsets. Outright um, a team that doesn't or didn't think everybody thought was supposed to win, end up winning like Vanderbilt um, beating um, the number one team this week, uh, Alabama. Nobody seen this coming, including me. So with all of this, it shake, shakes up the um, top 10 and also the top 25. So looking at the AP poll and the coaches poll, some of the um, like the top 10 and top 25, um, I like but some of these teams that they chose, I think it's just um, they just being lazy, the AP pollers. I think that they could have did a lot more better um, research of the game because they had time before they turn in their polls, their, their, their valid sheets. Some of these teams I, I think should be punished like Alabama has to be punished. They have to be because to be fair, if um, Notre Dame a couple weeks ago lost to Northern Illinois, Okay, and they got um, dropped out of the top 10 and down in the top 25. Okay, so Alabama has to drop. The AP got it wrong. They should have dropped Alabama out of the top 10 and put them, like, in, in the mix with all the other teams. And I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, um, how many um, teams that is um, in the top 25 could beat Alabama. Well, a lot of them then, if – um. If Vanderbilt can do it, any other team too. So don't give me that. That argument is mute and out the window. They they dropped Notre Dame. Alabama should be dropped too. They should be punished for this loss. They shouldn't be where they at. Now I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that. That's why when I do my top ten, I actually look at the games and the teams that, like I say, each week, week to week, when I make my choice who to be the top 10 in my top 10, I, I look at and consider upsets like this. I just don't drop them just a few. Nah, they, they're going to drop a lot because if they lose to a team like Vanderbilt that was unranked like that, not even in the top um, 60 or 70, nah, you, you got to drop. You got to be punished because – um me, I do um, my my um, top ten week to week on, um, like I said, on performances, not because they have a name or they don't have, they got a blue blood name. No, it don't matter to me. If you're not playing well this week, another team that's close and talented to you and everything is gonna um, pass you, is gonna jump you, and you're gonna fall in the rankings. So that's why when you see my top 10, you're going to see some um, changes in it. Because like I said, I change my top 10 every week. And up to this point, 
Man, um, college football has been amazing. We waited all these months for college football to come down. It's like it, it's coming week to week, and it's it's going um, like modern to fast a little bit. So I just want all you college football fans out there to enjoy this um, college football season because it comes and goes, and it'd be a lot longer um, off season. So every game, man, means a lot and enjoy. And I, I just have to say that some of the teams that we didn't think was any good is end up um, surprising us, like Rutgers, like um, Indiana, like even Illinois in Vanderbilt, like lightweight Kentucky to a certain degree. And, and it, it just um, – Good for college football when this happens. And Nebraska, that's another team. And another thing, don't um, leave out and forget about Colorado because I want everybody to know that just because teams didn't do well in 2023 or um, 22, 21, that don't mean that they're not better improved this year because a lot of people just got in their mind, oh, um, this team was trash or garbage last year, not playing well. So they got in their mind that that same team is going to play like that this year and no. Every year, year to year, teams um, improve. Some teams get worse and some teams get better. And also, everybody got to consider that some of these teams get transfer portal guys that come from one team that didn't get another plan time that was a good player and goes to another team and, and start developing more in, in a different system, and they start playing better. And with a few transfer portal um, players from each team, th that team improved. And I think that's happening in some of these um, squads around the country. They're improving. And plus, you got NIL getting some top players too. So the landscape of college football is changing. So teams that you thought that wasn't um, any good or was bad in the past, now they're starting to get better now. So the mind frame that you got about, oh, this team and that team is used to just being bad, that's not going to be the case going forward. And, and the proof is in the pudding on um, this week of upsets, major upsets. So everybody just thinking that um, it's going to be the same going forward. No, it's going to be some new team that is going to start uh, may, maybe being consistently good winners. We'll see, though. So – just keep that in mind. I hope everybody enjoyed this um, college football season um, to the end. Every game, including the 12-team um, college football playoff, because this is going to be explosive, very exciting, and entertaining. So. I just want everybody that haven't chimed in yet and in this live, I just want everybody to, you know, co comment, chat, chat with me today. This is fun. This is a night, Sunday night. You, I know you got the NFL on. A lot of the games already is over. I think you got one game left, and that's the Steelers game against the Dallas Cowboys. That's the um, last game is on the slate for the night. But um, the ones that um, – is either watching that game or not, I want you to chime in right now. All the college football fans out there, if you're getting this chat right now, um, chime in. I got a few comments. I'm um, asking who y'all think is the top 10, who y'all got at the top 10, who um, do y'all got as y'all um, number one team in the country, who y'all think is the best conference. Is it the ACC? Is it the Big 12? Is it the um, – uh, two members of the Pac-12 with a few teams or um, um, the Big Ten. So you got the Big Ten, the SEC, ACC, Big 12. Who y'all got at the best conference? And even the small conferences, the group of five and the MAC. That's, uh, so um, leave that in your comment. Who y'all got as y'all best conference? Who y'all got as y'all number one team, top five team? I do a top 10, but y'all can do a top five. And what I haven't talked yet is Heisman. 
Give me somebody that is a Heisman front runner or like a couple of players. It could be one player who y'all just say um, is out um, over the rest. Also, who y'all got like is the um, best freshman so far, balling out the best freshmen so far of this 2024 season. And, and also, who y'all think out of the freshmen um, will be invited to New York? For the Heisman, and or getting a uh, Belichick for the wide receivers or other awards for running backs or um, best lines, best linemen, offensively and defensively. Leave that in the comment. So far, so yeah, just have fun with this. I see a few people coming in my chat. I, I need a few more to come in and chime in. This is fun talking about college football. I believe college football, you know, it, it is right now um, the number one sport, the best sport. Although some can argue and say the NFL, but I say um, me watching both, I love college football. I, I feel it's more genuine and, and it's still like number one to me. So come everybody, I'm still waiting um, for a few more people to chime in. Who, who y'all got at y'all top 10? Who y'all think is the number one team? Y'all think is um, Texas? Do still some people think it's an SEC team like Tennessee, um, Georgia? Who y'all got? Um, Big Ten. Do, do y'all got Oregon, Penn State, or the Ohio State Buckeyes? Who who y'all got? Or the Big Twelve? Or do y'all think in the ACC? Do y'all think um, Miami? Or, or um, is Clemson back on the uprise? Who, who y'all got as y'all number one team? Um, I just want to say that um, I just hope that it don't be, like I said last week, any blowouts. I, I um, Well, I know it's going to be some blowouts, but um, I feel that most of the time I like competitive games and surprise games like we had this week. In college football. So, right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to reveal my top 10 teams. And like I said before, um, if you like my top 10, um, let me know. If you don't like my top 10, uh, let me know. And like I said before, give me your top 10. So, without further ado, ladies and uh, all college football fans out there, I'm about to give you my top 10 of this week, week seven, 2024. Here we go. Everybody can see my um, top 10. So... Like I said before, you can agree with my top 10 or disagree with my top 10, but these are the teams that I feel has been playing on really good football. Even though some of the teams that I have in my top 10, I, I say that they um, lost the game early in the season. And I, and I say that um, – they, they rebounded. They got better because each team week to week has gotten better, I, I feel. So, I, I, I just feel that um, every week is different. So, maybe this week, you know, um, your um, version of the top 10 might not be like next week because, it, uh, like I do, uh, it fluctuates. And I know some people are seeing that I got Indiana and Colorado, some of the teams that y'all think, oh, man, it's outrageous. But no, these teams have been playing well. Colorado has been playing better. And also, I feel that um, Colorado, everybody thinking of last year's Colorado team, I feel that this year's Colorado team has gotten better. This team has gotten a lot better. So just because last year's um, team, that they line wasn't playing well and their defense wouldn't get to the quarterback wasn't playing well, 
I, I think this year um, Colorado has gotten better in a lot of teams, like I said. Indiana, although um, people could say, oh, well, they ain't played nobody, but the teams that they've been playing, they've been really consistently beating well and blowing out some of the teams, scoring up in the 40s. And 50 points um, every every game. So, and plus they bowl eligible. Miami, congratulations, Miami Hurricanes and the Indiana Hoosiers uh, for being bowl eligible. And for um, both of those teams, especially Indiana, it's been a minute since they became bowl eligible, um, was able to participate in the bowl. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my college football. Week 7, 2024, top 10 teams. So, I'm going to be, like I said, every week on a Sunday after each game is played on a Saturday. In the regular season, I'm going to be dropping my top 10. Most of the time, I want to drop it around between um, two and three. But today, um, I, it just had a lot of things going on. So I had to drop it at this time period. So, But on a normal basis, I, I, I drop my top 10 um, like around um, two or three every Sunday. I know... That's about the same time the AP and the coaches both drop their top 10. So what I like to do is make sure that I get a lot of teams uh, um, the last look before I, I make my top 10 to be fair. So you you guys are seeing my top 10, and I just want you um, one last time to chime in and tell me and give me your top 10. And also, who, who you think is number one? And who you think has the best conference? Or who, who is going to um, win a Heisman? Or who is in the front uh, as a Heisman um, front runner? Or do you got like a couple of guys? So just leave that in the chat. And with that being said, I'm, I'm going to be um, – Ending this, and I'll be coming back next week and the week after giving you my top 10. And also just uh, having a conversation on Heisman, like I said, and and other topics. Y'all want to um, comment on anything else? A surprise uh, um, player that y'all think should be getting consideration for the Heisman or any other award or a team that um, off the radar that is playing well and nobody's talking about. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, all you college football fans out there, I will see you next week. Have a good one.